All right, so I've only ridden this bike about 20 miles. I haven't done any major jumps, just dumping little like hopping little wheelchair accesses on the sidewalk and off of curbs, like four foot, I mean, four inch curbs. And look how the handlebars, the stem has already come loose from the headset and it's moved about five degrees to the right. And then the crank arms are all super loose. And we've had to retighten the chain three times on this bike because it won't stay tight. Look at that. That's awful. Thought the pedals were bent. I don't know if the pedals are actually the problem. I think it's the crank. And yeah, I don't know. This thing is getting worse by the day. I don't know that the $200 plus the tires and the tubes were really worth it. This is the frame defendant, not the defendant pro, but the defendant with the high 10 steel. All right, so we're in the beginner section of the park. I'm gonna do a few fly outs and stuff just to check this out. There's a little bit of a drop just over there. It's about two foot tall. I'm gonna give that a go. See how this thing holds up. Huh? I'm just really not confident in this All right, thing. guys, so here it is. I was uh, not planning on this to be the case at all, but um, I, I wrote off this little ledge. It's a two foot ledge maybe maybe 20 inches something like that so it's not very high just to give it a go i go to see how this bike would hold up this is once again the frame defendant 22 this is not the frame defendant pro it's the frame defendant just standard this is the high 10 still i pay it's like 249 and you can get it on sale at times i got it for 209 um i've already had to change the tires to we the people tires there's only a couple of brands out there that carry 22 inch tires and tubes so know that but here's the thing i thought my pedals were bending because these are just like cheap welgo pedals and and to be fair welgo has had a a market of pedals for many many years now and a lot of the like lower brand companies put welgo on there but if it's like any of the other companies they can make good quality stuff and they probably produce pedals that are rebranded as other things that's how most of these companies work but look at this so i knew that this crank was weird but i don't know if you can see that this crank has actually like bent on the first drop i don't know i don't know if you can see see how it twisted right there see it faces more this way and then it spins over yeah that ain't right so there you go